Hello YouTube. In this video I am going to explain to you just briefly um, how focal length works with various lenses. And to do this I've got a little simple setup right here. This is a Maglite Mini with the lens removed so it's just the bright um, cool white LED shining there. And I've got it about 25 feet from the far side wall over there and um, as you may know I think I wrote it in the uh, in the no BS guide anything that's beyond 20 feet the light rays are actually collimated so if you're looking at something that's uh, got light reflected off of it, as long as it's 20 feet away or greater, or 6 meters away or greater, those light rays reaching your eye are going in parallel. So this light is about 25 feet away from the wall over here. Excuse the mess, I have been sick. And over here on the far wall, I've got my test lens kit set up with a ruler and to demonstrate we're gonna start with the convex side so if you ever get a test lens kit this is how it's gonna look basically you're gonna have your convex sphere and your concave sphere this is your minus lenses and these are the plus lenses so in order to prove this concept I'm just going to start with the plus lens and then I'll kind of uh, try to relate that to the minus lenses um, in a couple minutes here. But first off, what you should know is that these numbers correspond to the diopter power of each, each of, of these sets of lenses. There's, uh, there's two columns here because you have two eyes and that works out for the test fixture. So each of, each of these is a uh, pair of lenses that are a plus lens and they're separated into um, into whole and half and quarter diopter powers. And a diopter is actually just the focal length of the lens um, in meters, but it's like a fraction. So for instance, the 10 diopter lens is able to focus light to a point, well parallel collimated rays of light, like the light coming from that cool white LED, it's able to focus that light to a point at about one-tenth of a meter, which if you do the math, it's fairly easy. Um, one tenth of a meter is ten centimeters, right? So then five diopters would be one fifth of a meter for focal length, which is about twenty centimeters. So if we come over here, grab the plus five lens, even says it right there, and I were to put it right here at 20 centimeters. Turn off this light. What we should see when I get this up to the wall, as soon as the ruler touches the wall, you should see a cool white point of light come into focus right on the wall. So right there it touches. You can see that, that nice First point of light. If I move it a little bit closer, it works a little bit better. Um, there is a little bit of uh, a variation built in just because these go into lenses that go on your face and sit in front of your eyes and not on your eyes. So there's actually a little bit of a uh, little bit of play to account for that, if that makes sense. So right there, that's proof of concept. You've got a plus five diopter lens. That's a focal length of one fifth of one meter. 
which is about 20 centimeters. We've got it set up right at 20 centimeters. And there is your focused light from the LED, 25 feet away. Okay, so if we grab the plus 10, and like, look how powerful this thing is. It's crazy. It's thick too. So this should focus right at about 10 centimeters. Excuse the sloppy camera work. And there you have it. So even though it's closer to the wall, it's coming to the same sharp point of focus. And to demonstrate that, I'll move it out to 20 centimeters. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And it's not even close. It's not focusing that light at all. But as we bring it in, and I'm kind of at a weird angle, and I'm getting oil all over the wall. That's great. Move it in 10 centimeters. Did not block the light with the camera. We can see the fine focused point of light. Okay, and then here's where it gets kind of interesting. We've got some convex cylinders or plus cylinder diopter lenses. So this is a plus three cylinder. And if you see, at about a third of a meter, you can see that nice, cool blue line right there. And if I come around here like this, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, the camera can. The line on the wall corresponds to the line that's on the lens, that's scored right on there. And you use that, those lines in the test fixture to actually find the axis of astigmatism. So like on your prescription, you'll see the cylinder power, and then you'll see right next to it a column that's axis. And that's what that means. So when I physically turn this lens, you can see the lines turn on the lens and the line on the wall turns. So if I just look at, at the line on the wall here, turn, turn, and that corresponds directly to the axis number on your prescription. Okay, so now, how does that relate to the minus lenses. So if you've got myopia, you have minus lens powers on your prescription. And that's because the collective lens power of your eye turns out to be like a positive number. You know, your refractive error is uh, written on your prescription as a negative, but that's because it counteracts the positive, you know, effectively positive uh, lens power of your cornea and your crystalline lens working together. So like when, when we talk about pseudomyopia and we talk about that lens getting fatter, it's just like this lens right here, which causes nearsightedness. So like if I'm way back here, you can't read anything. You have to get nice, nice and close. So if I take a plus five, Representing, let's say you have, uh, let's say you have myopia, and your prescription says minus three diopter in the sphere column. Then that would correspond to this plus three. Like this is your eye right here, and then. So this is about how far you can see clearly, about one third of a meter, right? Because you're looking at the wall, or I'm sorry, you're looking at the bright 
LED or you know a sign in the distance or whatever is out there in the distance and your eye is focusing it with effectively a positive lens. So if we grab a minus lens of minus three diopters let's see if I can hold these without scratching the lenses Okay, so we've got two lenses. They're kind of at an angle, but it should still work. We've got the plus three and the minus three. So your refractive error of your natural eye and the refractive correction of a corrective lens. So contacts or glasses. And if I hold it up to the wall, effectively, doesn't really do anything. No matter how I kind of move it around or anything, because you've got the plus power counteracting the negative power, or vice versa. So what does it look like if I just have the minus lens? Well, here's the minus lens. It's casting just a regular old shadow. Look at that. The light from mostly the lamp. Um, you can kind of see the, the LED light a little bit. It gets dispersed into a ring. So a minus lens disperses light and a plus lens collects light. Make sense?